Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, our lesson is on solving one-step equations. Our objectives today are that you will solve equations using multiplication or division. The question I'd like you thinking about is what is the inverse of multiplying by a fraction? Let's review what an equation is. An equation is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign between two expressions. 5x equals 20 is an equation because there is an equal sign that is taking a variable expression and putting it equal to a numerical expression. So this is a variable expression because of the x. It's an unknown amount and it could vary in value or it can be specific. In this case, it's going to have one specific value because it is equal to the numerical expression 20. One other key vocabulary word you need to understand is coefficient. The coefficient is the number or value that comes before the variable and is multiplied to the variable. There's an invisible multiplication sign here. Inverse operations are key to solving algebraic equations. Inverse operations are two operations that have the opposite effect. Inverse operations undo each other. Today we're going to talk about multiplication and the inverse operation, which is division. Multiplication and division are inverse operations and undo each other. Let's look at an example. If I have these two circles, or two dots, and I multiply it by 2, that'd be 2 times 2. Think of it as doubling. When you multiply by 2, you're doubling something. So instead of 2, I now have 4. To undo that doubling, you divide by 2. So if I divide this by 2, I cut it in half, and I have 2. So multiply by 2, I get 4. Divide by 2, I get 2. So they are inverse operations. Algebraically, we refer to this as the multiplication property of equality. The multiplication property of equality states that when you multiply the same number to each side of an equation, the equation remains the same, creating an equivalent equation, which is your solution. If we have a equals b, and we multiply a by c, we must also multiply b by c, and this equation will be equivalent to the original. Now let's use this property to solve an equation. I have x divided by 8. Don't forget this fraction bar is also a division symbol. x divided by 8 is equal to negative 3 and we're asked to solve. So we're being asked to find the value of x. The inverse of divide by 8 is to multiply by 8. So to get x alone, I'm going to do the inverse of divide by 8 and multiply by 8. If I multiply the left side of the equal sign by 8, I must multiply the right side by 8 as well. Now we're ready to simplify each side of the equal sign. 8 divided by 8 is 1 leaving me just x. On the right side, negative 3 multiplied by 8 has a product of negative 24. So my solution is x is equal to negative 24. However, I'm going to check to make sure this is accurate. So I'm going to replace the x in the original equation with my solution, negative 24. Negative 24 divided by 8 is indeed negative 3 and it checks. Your turn. I would like you to pause the video here, solve, check your solution, and come back and hit play. Welcome back. So the first thing I want to do is identify that x is being divided by 4. The inverse of divide by 4 is to multiply by 4. What I multiply one side by, I must also do to the other. 4 Divided by 4 is 1, leaving me x, and 8 times 4 is 32. 
Now let's check. I'm going to replace the x with 32. 32 divided by 4 is 8. It checks, and our solution is x equals 32. Now let's talk about the division property of equality. The division property of equality states that when you divide the same number from each side of an equation, the equation remains the same, creating an equivalent equation. So if I have a is equal to b, and I divide a by c, I must also divide b by c, producing an equivalent equation. Let's use our division property of equality to solve this equation. So first I identify that what is happening to x is it's being multiplied by negative 7. The inverse of multiply by negative 7 is to divide by negative 7. If I divide the left side by negative 7, I must also divide the right side by negative 7. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1, and 28 divided by negative 7 is negative 4. I'm going to check my solution, replacing the x with negative 4. Negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28. It checks, and our solution is x equals negative 4. Your turn. I would like you to pause, solve, check your solution, and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So here we have, we're going to identify that it's being multiplied by 6. The inverse of multiply by 6 is to divide by 6. Divide the other side by 6 as well. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. And our check is that 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. So it checks, and our solution is x equals negative 2. Now we're going to learn how to solve using a reciprocal. A reciprocal is 1 divided by the value, or the inverse of the value. Often my students consider it flipping. So if I have 3, its reciprocal is 1 third, because 1 third times 3 is 1. They undo each other. So 1 third has a reciprocal. If I flip it, it's 3. Let's look at another reciprocal. 2 fifths. The reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. If I multiply a number by its reciprocal, the, val the product will be 1. 2 fifths times 5 halves, we have 2 times 5 over 5 times 2, so 10 over 10 is 1. So multiplying by the reciprocal creates a product of 1. So we're going to use that idea and that inverse operation to solve this equation. Instead of dividing by one-fifth, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 5. 5 times one-fifth is 1, leaving me x equals 55. Let's check our solution. Replace x with 55. 1 fifth of 55, remember multiplying by 1 fifth is the same as dividing by 5. I get 11 and it checks. We can also use the reciprocal to solve the equation here. We are going to multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 halves. When I multiply one side by, I must multiply the other. 3 halves times 2 thirds has a product of 1. 16 times 3 halves, there's two ways to look at this. You could do 16 times 3 and divide by 2, but I'm going to divide first. 16 divided by 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. Now let's check it. 2 thirds times 24, I'm replacing the x with 24. So 24 divided by 3 is 8 times 2 is 16, and it checks. Your turn. Go ahead and pause, solve, and check, and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So I'm going to multiply. The inverse of multiply by 5 sevenths is to multiply by the reciprocal 7 fifths. When I multiply the left by, I must also multiply the right side by. 
Remember, when you multiply by the reciprocal, you get 1. So I'm left with x equals, now I have negative 25, divided by 5 is negative 5, negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. Now I'm going to check by plugging in x with negative 35. 5 sevenths times negative 35. Negative 35 divided by 7 is negative 5, times 5 is negative 25, and it checks. There you have it. That's how we solve one-step equations using multiplication and division. And don't forget the reciprocal as well. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Have a great day.